In order to create a report for your assets, you can first begin by either clicking on the print ribbon at the top and choosing reports, or by coming over to the folder tree, selecting reports from there, or finally by clicking on the reports icon that's located in the top right by the life cycle. Once on the reporting screen, the next step is to choose the reporting category drop down menu and select the category for the type of report you, you want to create. That can be done by either selecting it from the list or typing it in the box above and then selecting it as it auto populates. Next, click add and then give the report a name. Once you've given the report a name, click next and for each report based on the category that you choose it will provide some information for that type of report. If you don't want the information that's provided simply select that field and click the left arrow to remove it. If there's other information that you do want to include on the report choose that from the left side and then click the right arrow to add that. Once you've added all the fields in from the left side that you want to put into this report you can then determine the order of the fields as you want them to appear on the report. How they appear here in the list from top to bottom is how they'll show left to right on the actual report. To change the order of any of the fields, simply select that field and choose the up or down buttons. Once you have the fields organized, click next. And then for the field to group by option, if you want to sort the report by anything that you've included in the report, you can simply select it from the drop down menu. For example, on the Receive History report, you might group it by the username who performed that Receive transaction. Once you've selected the Field to Group by option, at that point, click Next. And now for the summary, if you enable that, this will let you do things like sum up your cost for all those items that were received, as well as count the number of items that were received in by each user. Once you've configured this, click Next and then you can make a determination on which groups are able to view and edit this report. To remove these groups, select them and hit the left arrow to remove them and those groups will no longer be able to access this report. Once you've done that, click Next. In here you can choose to include or not include both your logo and address on the report as well as print it in portrait or landscape. Once you're done, click Finish once you're done, you can click print or you can just hit preview. In here we can see the report once it's been created. We've grouped it by the username at the top who's conducted the transaction and now we can see below where the transaction was conducted, the date and time it happened, the asset name, as well as the asset code that was received in, what our cost was on all those items, and we can see here it's summed up the total at the bottom and told us how many items were received from each user. If you want to make any formatting changes to the report itself, you can click the edit button. And now you can go into an editing mode where you can drag and drop elements around. You can even do things like change the font colors and even modify what it says. You can resize any of the fields within the report itself as well as move them around, change or remove headers, and even add additional elements in from the left side by clicking and dragging those options over to the report and dropping them on there. In this case we're going to add a logo and now we can see that that new logo has been added to the report so we can save it at this point and close it out. Once you've saved it we can now see at this point that those changes have been made and now they are reflecting within the report itself. To create any new reports, simply click Add and then follow that same process after you've chosen the category. You can also duplicate a report by clicking Copy and assigning it another name and assigning it a different name. Once you've done that, click OK and now we can see the duplicate report has been added into our reporting section here.